everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. It's the first day of 2023 today, January the 1st, hence why I got my little new year headbands on. I hope you all had a lovely festive period and didn't drink too much last night. I definitely didn't, I was in bed by half ten. So you might be thinking, why are we standing in my kitchen? Um, as one of my new year's resolutions, I decided that I wanted to try veganery. Um, I did try to do this in 2019, but had to stop halfway because my husband got sent to Kenya and I just needed some unhealthy food to get me through. So we're trying again. I'm hoping this time will be successful and I'll even be able to carry it on into February, March and hopefully really take on a vegan diet. So if you haven't heard of Veganuary, it is where people swap their normal diets to a vegan one throughout the month of January. Um, if you want to know more, I'll leave everything in the description box below. You can sign up to Veganuary and get loads of emails sent through to you with facts, information, downloadable cookbooks. Um, it's really great. It has everything you need, basically. Whatever your values and views are, have a little look see what you think and let me know if you decide to go ahead and do it. And it's really not that difficult to be vegan. Um, some things you will miss, yeah. Like cheese is a big one for me. Brie, mozzarella, feta. But lucky enough there is some alternatives. Sometimes they can get, they can take a little bit of getting used to, but you know, they are out there and if you feel like you are missing out on something, there's normally something that you can replace it with that's vegan. Today I had for breakfast, so it's day one, I had crumpets with cheese, vegan cheese. Um, I just got this Nature's Choice um, brand from Coles, I believe. And what else did I have? Um, sourdough with avocado and rocket. So that's been my day so far, just what I would normally eat anyway, except for replacing the vegan cheese. So it's really not that difficult. Obviously there's going to be hurdles, but I think we can all do it. If you can hear a strange noise in the background, that is my feral cat. Um, she has this thing, she's very old, bless her, but when we're in the kitchen, she has to be in the kitchen, crying as loudly as she possibly can at your feet. Um, and she's tiny, right, she's a tiny little cat, so if she's here standing under my feet, I'm going to step on her, and you know, who knows what could happen, so we have to lock her away, and she's being absolutely crazy, jumping up at the door handle, because she thinks she's a human, and can open the door, so that's what that noise is, she's perfectly fine, she has food, water, and her litter tray in there, just to give me a bit of peace, so... Don't call RSPCA, um, it's all good. <laughs> That's what that noise is. Just a little heads up. Um, the camera died, again. What is wrong with this camera? Honestly, I think it's the humid weather. It just overheats and boop, turns off. So um, where was I? I don't even know. To hold myself accountable throughout the January, I thought it'd be a good idea to film some of the recipes that I've got from the emails they've sent me and show you how they go and you know it's a record for me to look back on and find some yummy recipes and it also gives you a little insight on what sort of stuff you can make if you're trying to be vegan so i did a big weekly shop vegan weekly shop which actually came to the exact same price i normally spend every week anyway so it's not more expensive and it's not less expensive it's just roughly the same um I guess that varies if you buy a lot of meat. I don't buy a lot of meat at all. I probably cook salmon once a month and that's about it, to be honest. Um, we don't actually cook red meat or anything like that at home. Um, obviously we eat out sometimes, but yeah. So if you are buying meat, that may vary for you. But the big change for me was probably the cheese. Um, I couldn't find that many alternative cheeses. So um, yeah. I'm going to have to keep looking for ones of them. Obviously in Australia we only have Woolies, Coles and IGA and a few other random little shops. Um, so it's not a lot of choice, I'm not going to lie, compared to the UK. I know they've, veganism has just gone crazy over there so I'm sure there's loads more of alternatives. So if you live there, this might be a bit easier for you. But us Aussies, we need to change our ways. We're eating too much meat on the barbie. 
in my opinion. So please, please, if you're from Australia, do let me know in the comments. Are you doing veganery? Have you found any alternative cheeses I can try? I would love to know. Tonight we're making stuffed mushrooms. I've never made that before. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a chef. I'm not a dietitian. I'm actually not even that great at cooking, but I have to do it every night. I have to survive, so let's up my skills a little bit and start making some healthy dinners. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. There might be a few things that you're seeing me do and you reckon that's not how you do that. Mm, that could be better if you do that like that. Just let me know in the comments and help go out, friend to friends, um, what I could be doing better. But yeah, I'm hoping to improve my skills throughout this month and see what we come up with. I'm hoping some delicious yummy recipes. I am filming weekly vlogs as well, so please go over and check them out. There'll be a lot of mention of vegan and also me showing other meals that I've made. So yeah, let's get on with making these stuffed mushrooms before it gets too late. It is 6.38, so perfect time to have dinner. Maybe a bit late, but let's quickly get on with it. So we've got one cut up shallot. It's actually onion. I didn't have a shallot. Um, don't they work exactly the same anyway? Um, we have some zucchinis or courgettes. Um, some minced garlic. Because I'm lazy. The lazy vegan. Isn't that a thing? Or a movie or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, and then we have some big mushrooms. I don't think these are portobello mushrooms. I think they're just large. What is that on my finger? Blah. Get off. Um, yeah, so I've cut the stalks off these. You have to scoop out the middle. And then I have some lentils over here. I don't want to drop water everywhere. So these are just brown lentils. I've washed them. And that's what can they came in. Da, 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 da. Are you gonna focus? Just brown cooked lentils. Lovely jubbly. So let me start de-scooping these. It says leave to one side and then it doesn't mention what else you do with the filling. So I don't know, it seems a waste to put the middle bit in the bin. So I'm just gonna mix it in with the mix and eat it. Um, I don't know if that's what you meant to do. It doesn't actually say on the recipe. I'll leave the recipe on the screen by the way and the instructions, but yeah, scoop out the middle. Keep it to one side. Um, cut up your zucchinis quite small, so I think like even as small as the onion, little pieces like that. And yeah, once I've done that, I'll show you what the next step is. I've just grabbed my phone so I can show you what I'm doing. So I'm putting the brown lentils that I've washed and drained into the boiling water that should just about cover them. There we are. Sorry about the noise. In with the lentils, we've got chopped up courgettes and the chopped up shallot. Joe helps me out with the courgettes because I was taking too long and he's starving. <laughs> so um, I've just cut the mushrooms. Let me show you them now. So here are the mushrooms ready to be stuffed. <laughs> um, and I've also got the mushroom mix that came out of the middle, which I am gonna throw into the pan as well. Let me just do that now. Okay, so that's the mixture that came out of the mushrooms. In with that, that's what it's looking like so far. Should we switch on the light? There we go, that's better. And you just leave this simmering for a few minutes until everything's soft, I believe. Okay, we've added mixed herbs because we didn't have any parsley. Parsley? Is that what you say? Parsley, yeah. Um, and now we're just going to put some crushed garlic in there. Wonderful. Well done, sous chef. Thank you. <laughs> Give it a good stir. So that was just simmering away. We did add salt and pepper. Just got to hope for the best, really. <laughs> the recipe is quite vague, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's just this one or I'm just not reading it correctly, but there's a few things they've missed out. 
So I've had to wing it a little bit, but I'm sure it's gonna taste great. It's healthy and good for you. So it's hit one of the marks. I promise she has everything she needs. She just likes to sit in the kitchen, don't you? Hey? Why? What good is it you sit in there? You're gonna get trampled on. You wanna go in the oven? Should we cook up a little mystery? A mystery surprise. <laughs> okay, I think everything in here is well and truly soft and ready to be drained. So let's do that. Okay, the final step. Whoa, that was close. Let's stuff these full of the mixture. Gonna get a little spoon and just pop it in there. So I drained out the water by the way, so it's only got a little bit of moisture left in the bottom. Sorry if this video has been a bit sporadic. Um, there's been a lot going on, including the cat, my camera overheating about a hundred times. I haven't used it in a while, so I don't know. It might be on its way out, I'm not sure. I might just use my phone for the foreseeable. So let me know if the quality is okay. Okay, the oven is preheating. They are ready to go in. They actually look pretty good. I'm excited. Um, they go in for however long the recipe says. I will check that now and I'm gonna set a timer and we will see what they look like when they come out. I think I am gonna quickly make a little salad to go with it. Joe might have a few other bits with his cause he's a big lad and needs a lot of food. But this is perfect for me and I'm excited. So look at that, we've made one vegan recipe already. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I will show you once they've been cooked what I think of them, I'll let you know. Um, maybe I'll rate them from one to 10. <laughs> um, I'll do that for all the recipes that I cook. But they smell good, they look like the picture, so I don't think there's much more else I could have done. But I just wanna say now, thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. So this is the finished result. Looks pretty good if you ask me. I'm gonna leave on screen what I thought about it and rate it out of one to 10. I'm also gonna do what Joe thought about it as well. Stuffed mushrooms and salad. Let's dig in.